from the same doctor. Everyone got a blood test and they all had mono? That seems really improbable. Yeah, nobody gets mono at this age. You get it as an eight-year-old and then you're immune. Wait, you get it as an eight-year-old? Mono, the kissing disease? No, it's a cousin's disease. You get it by kissing your cousins. Oh, I guess we're both right. No. Wait a minute. If you're immune, then you could tell the doctor you're from the 99, and when he gives you a mono diagnosis, we'll have proof that his notes are fake. Wow. I can't believe all those lazy childhood afternoons playing hide the yam finally paid off. You see, you take a yam. I and don't want to know. Prong two update. I brought in our night shift detectives to handle the dispatch calls and respond to major crimes. Sorry. That's Terry's tummy. I'm feeling a little nauseous. Must have been something I had for breakfast. Well, do you have to go home or can you tough it out? So if Terry goes home, he's not tough? Here we go. Lieutenant, we don't have time today to make this about some larger insecurity you have regarding your toughness. First of all, I'm not insecure about my toughness. Secondly, being sick has nothing to do with being tough. Thirdly, if I wasn't tough, would I be daring Amy to punch me in the stomach? What? Come on, Amy, give me your best shot. Fine, just so that we can move on. See? I'm fine. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go for a walk in the fresh air with my best friend, the trash can. I'll be back because I'm tough! Let's talk quickly before he returns and makes us all about himself again. Okay, we can't use uniforms from other precincts because they'll call out sick too. So I asked the other captains in the district to lend us some detectives. Smart. They have a different union. They each sent us two people. They said they were happy to do it. Huh. That's odd. I wouldn't be happy to give up two of my detectives unless... Dear God, they sent us their Hitchcock and Scullies. It's a nightmare. So you've been feeling fatigued? 